episode 55 of the podcast 3.0. Not quite live, not quite the other side of the world, but close enough for jazz. Or close enough anyway. This week, I have been thinking. You know, I... I was... No, they won't mind this. I was talking with... No, not George. I was I was talking with uh, a, a a buddy of mine. He's uh, he's a computer. He's I don't I don't know what he's he's engineering and you know learning languages that that I don't understand computer languages and stuff that I you know. No, he sits there and he designs an integrated circuit and then he writes the software to make it all work. And it's it's, it's like my goodness, you're doing hardware, you're doing driver, and like that's his. He's getting his master's degree. Anyhow, it's, you know, it's really fun when your friends develop skills that you don't understand and you develop skills that your friends don't understand. And it's like you respect each other that, that if one of you starts talking just a little bit about your work, that like... (laughs) <laughs> you have no clue what he's talking about. You can't even hold a candle to what he's doing. And I, I mean, he he tries to understand what I do, uh, but he no with 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 Linux and writing writing software for the web and stuff. So I I have I have no way of um, of understanding what he's doing. But it's I I guess, I guess you suppose it's knowing software. I. And, and product road mapping, I get a little bit of it, but anyhow, that was a delightful conversation we were having today. And I was talking with him about computer programming, and I was telling him what I do with some things and with this and that and the other thing. And I am absolutely convinced. I'm sold out, absolutely convinced that everyone can learn basic marketable skills. You know, I, I was just thinking today. Making your home kitchen, the the kitchen in your home, making your home kitchen FDA compliant. I, I mean, even the certification, even the inspection, even the certification, making your home FDA compliant should be free of charge. Ah, okay, maybe a 50 US dollar fee. But it should be free of charge and it should be taught in high school as a required class for graduation. Whatever your state or county, uh, whatever the health code laws are that define what a safe kitchen is for making food, properly labeling uh, nutrition facts so you can make food in your kitchen and sell it to other people and meet the the FDA and packaging requirements, all of that should cost $50 only for certification and you should learn it in high school. And if you don't test to pass it, a passing grade testing on it, then you can't graduate from high school. It should be mandatory. Well, I mean, we're supposed to teach people how to function. And, And cooking good... I mean, Americans cook food and feed themselves and their families every day, and they don't die. I mean, you know, you've got weird exceptions, but I mean, I I mean, if you, no, George, I'd be curious to look at food poisoning. How, what's the ratio, what's the comparison, George, of, of bad, harmful food that comes from big companies with expensive lawyers that meet these complex, nobody understands them, FDA regulations in all these state health code certified kitchens What's the ratio of those guys hurting people with bad food versus mom at home cooking food and hurting people that way? Well, who's really safe? Well, no, I mean, mom should be able to cook. I mean, mom should be able to take her famous chocolate chip cookies or whatever, and she should be able to package it in a bag and know how to do it correctly. If her county or state that she grew up in is different from where she went to high school, she should know how to easily find out what the different rules are. She should pay 50 bucks 
sh- you know, to, to have the health inspector come in and sniff her kitchen. It should already be set up because she knows how to do that. High school taught her. And she should be able to make her own package that meets government requirements. And she should be able to put her famous cookies or whatever in a bag, properly labeled, and sell them to people without a problem. She should know how to do that. And, and the idea that you've got to have a lawyer and act like McDonald's in order to be healthy is, is it's called corptocracy. It's RoboCop. It's, it's the notion that, that, that corporation and government are the same. You can't do stuff unless you're a big, big company. Not, I mean, corporation, I don't, I don't know if you know this. A corporation is just a piece of paper. It's just, it's just a filing. It's just that. You've, you've got a paper that says that you're in business. That's all that a corporation is. Corporations are not bad or good. It's just a piece of paper. I hear people, this corporations. It's, it's like, well, corporations, a piece of paper. You mean big companies using their big money. And there is a difference. You can own your own corporation. I think everybody should. But I was just thinking, you, you know, what are we teaching people in school? We're supposed to, I mean, remember home ec? No, you don't, because that stopped before you went to school, probably, unless you're really, really old and you're listening to me because you know that young people have good stuff to say. But I, I really believe that people should learn basic do-it-yourself-at-home skill. They, they can do it. I mean, not should, but like government schools should try to teach them, but anyone can People can maybe that's what we, we should teach people. You can, you can learn how to write computer programs when you're eight years old. And I'm not talking about scratch, that drag and drop code game jazz. All right. That's cute and stuff, but that doesn't really empower kids. That's scratch should be a app for the phone. Um, like a game on your phone. Like that's all, that's what that should be. I don't think Scratch should be in school. I do not think Scratch should be in school, at least not for people over 10 years old. No, every, every eight year old can learn what an HTML document looks like. But seriously, they, they could, there's no reason they can't. It's very easy. There are skills that we can teach people at a young age that kids can understand in a basic way. And everyone, everyone can understand some of this. And I think everyone should know that they can. I don't, I don't want to force everyone to know it, but I think everyone should know that it's easy. Everyone should know. I'm telling them. I hope you tell them. You can learn stuff at a very young age. Um, no, I don't, I don't want to get all excited and start listing things, but stuff really is, I mean, music composition how to create your own song. You should learn that when you're six. There's no reason you can't. It's not complicated. A pianoforlife.com, Mark Almond. I've talked with a guy. Great, great guy. There's so much out there that we can learn. Anyone can, anyone can do it. You can do it. Why not? You can do it. Let's empower people. You can do it. Speaking of that, I'm just going to get to the point. We don't always need the best equipment to practice with. Drawing a skyline with a stick in the sand every day is better than practicing with oil paints only once a month. While oil paints lend themselves to more color and potential, a paintbrush is only as good as the artist who wields it. Don't wait for all the best equipment and most expensive tools. Their day may never come. Beauty comes from the artist's skill. So practice your painting in the sand. Use whatever is right around you. After all, sunsets use clouds and landscape, including the sand. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.